Ani, like from a psychotherapist standpoint, and we're talking about breaking free of these chains, are there any tools and techniques you can recommend to our audience? I mean, I think if you are under the uh, oppressive force of, of, of religion and you want to get out, right, then you want to focus on being deprogrammed. Because mm -hmm. you were programmed in it, especially if you were a child, especially mm -hmm. if it wasn't um, an adult choice. Mm -hmm. And the things to remember with deprogramming is really the brain. We have these three really significant parts to our brain. We have our reptilian brain. We have our limbic system, which is emotion. And then we have our neocortex, which is higher thought. And kind of how you were saying earlier, when you walked in and you were like, something feels off, or when you were nine, it, it, you had this feeling that something wasn't right. Well, everything that they were indoctrinating in you was through feeling. Most churches, I've never been to a Jehovah's Witness service, but most services I have been to start with a song. It's the same way with cults. They start with music, right? And that awakens the limbic mm -hmm. system. Oh, yeah. And then next thing you know, you're fed all of this information that so much your neocortex, the higher thinking, doesn't even really have time to process. All you know is that I feel good right now. It's tapping into emotion. And our emotional learning is light years ahead of our higher brain learning, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So they get you on an emotional level. So to be deprogrammed, it's all about neocortex. It's all about higher thinking. It's mm -hmm. all about looking at the religion and starting to learn with skepticism, starting to like open up to the idea of what if, what if this is wrong? And maybe actually find someone who specializes in it and last but not least, get some trauma therapy because mm. there's so much shame and trauma that comes down with organized religion mm -hmm. that sometimes that's harder to get out than anything. And what ends up happening is you lose the ability to think for yourself. You lose the ability out in life as an adult to have your own original thought. You're looking for your next idol on an unconscious level. And that's the most dangerous thing of all. You know, mm. something you just said mm -hmm. gave me a feeling. Being ex-military, I was in the Navy going through boot camp, all of those things that you just described, because we used to go to church on Sunday and it was no particular denomination. Right. We'd just be in there and they would start with a song. Oh. And it was like, and it was funny because one song was like The Rose by Bette Midler. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but I think we always funny. ended it with that song. And I'm proud to be an American. American. Well, yeah. at least I, and That's it all was like system. that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yes. I, I, I like, I kind of rushed through it, but when you get indoctrinated, it's the lower parts of the brain, the reptilian part, which is survival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And shame. Then, That's what shame. we use to shame. Yes. Yep. And then the limbic system, which is emotion. It's our, it's our hypothalamus and our thalamus and all those things that deal with emotion. That's what they're focusing on. They are not focusing on your higher thinking. Yeah. Right? And that's getting you indoctrinated to be a soldier and protect this mm -hmm. country. country you without, know? Thinking, yeah. without thinking. Without thinking. So, Ooh, with I was going to give you one, one other piece. <laughs> okay. If you, if you have have that one you want to hold that um, and that is just the first agreement and that's being impeccable with your speech yeah and a, a lot of times people will look at that and they'll watch what they say externally but i take it one step further and say okay what are you saying internally are you being authentic with your speech the way that you talk to yourself mm -hmm. or are you talking to yourself in an abusive way are you saying negative things to yourself is it authentically from a place of love as, as somebody who cares about themselves Mm -hmm. Right. So we often are like, oh, okay, well, I'll use that. And I won't say that because I want to be impactful. I want to be really good with my speech. But are you having negative conversation internally? Mm -hmm. So if you're checking that and you see that your internal dialogue is really healthy, then it's, it makes it a lot easier to have mm -hmm. healthy external dialogue. Every day I 